Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Bertosh, your incredibly hungry science teacher. And in this video, we're going to talk about the systems, the organ systems of the body. I'm a hungry science teacher. I'm always a hungry science teacher. And what I do to solve that problem is what you probably do too, right? I eat food. And when I eat food, where do I put it? Into my digestive system. And I gobble it up. And it is delicious, hopefully, unless I'm eating broccoli or something that's not delicious. But otherwise, it's delicious. And it goes into my digestive system. And my digestive system tears it apart, starting with my teeth, chomp it up, and then it goes into my stomach and it's digested. It's digestified, digestulated, and then it is sent out through my circulatory system once it's broken down into tiny little molecules. Then those molecules are carried in my blood throughout the rest of my body because all of the cells in my body, in another video, I talk about animal cells and I being the very handsome animal that I am, am also an animal and I am made up of animal cells. And those animal cells need nutrition, they need food, they need energy. The mighty mitochondria, which is an organelle that is the powerhouse of the cell in all my cells, produces the energy that my cells use to thrive. And those mighty mitochondria need sugar, and the cell needs other things to build and to build structures and repair itself and build other organelles. So all of those things that my body uses are obtained through the food I eat. And that is broken down in a series of organs called that together combined to form an organ system called the digestive system. And they are delivered throughout my body through another organ system that is made of a series of organs that work together that is called the circulatory system. So let's talk about organ systems. Okay, we have learned in other videos that the basic unit of life, that all living things are made out of cells. And we have learned that cells combine to form cells of the same kind, two or more cells of the same kind combine to form tissues. Remember, there are four types of tissues. If you want to learn what those are, watch the tissues video. And those different tissues combine to form organs, not a musical organ. That would be a creepy organ made out of animal tissues. No, they combine to form organs like the heart and the lungs and the stomach and kidneys and so forth. And those combine, two or more of those combine to form what we call organ systems. And there are several organ systems in the body. I'm not going to give you a number of how many organ systems there are because scientists don't exactly agree on that because, you know, scientists are always debating. Science is a one giant debate. It is not a list. Sometimes we think of science as this magical list of human knowledge and facts that must be memorized and that never changes. But that's not what science is. Science is not a list of facts. Science is a way of finding out how the universe works. It's a series of um, practices that we use in order to investigate the universe. And scientists disagree all the time. So some scientists say there are 13 uh, organ systems in the human body, and some say there are 11, and there's, uh, and others say other things. There's a variety of opinions, but I'm going to share some of the more commonly accepted organ systems, and I may leave some out because this is unscripted, and I may forget. Uh, but I'll do my best. I will do my bestiest, my bestiest, to talk about the organ systems of the human body. So. 
Let's start with the intergumatory system, which is a funny sounding system. That is your skin. Okay, an intergumatory system is your skin and the protective layers, uh, like your fingernails and your hair, all the things that protect you. You say, now, wait a minute, Mr. Bertos, my hair doesn't protect me, but it does. It protects you from baldness and it protects you from the scorn of people who laugh at your poor, sad, bald head. And also, it protects you from the sun that is filled with UV rays that are, it's like nature's natural uh, sunscreen. And so your hair doesn't get sunburned. And so every part of your body that's covered by hair is always in the shade. It also protects you from the elements, wind and weather. And if you are a duck, you don't have fur, but you have feathers and feathers protect you from water. Uh, and so you can float your little duck body in the water and not get wet. Even though you're literally in the water, it doesn't touch your skin at all. And it keeps you dry and cool, but we don't have feathers. So I've gotten on a tangent. So that is an uh, intergumentary system. And it is your skin and your hair and your uh, fingernails. And it provides protection and uh, protects the rest of the body. Okay, let's talk now about the nervous system. The nervous system is an organ system made up of your brain and your spinal cord and the nerves that go all the way out to the very tips of your piggy toe. And from end to end, your entire body, I mean, think about it. If I take a pin and I poke you, pretty much wherever I poke you, you're going to go, ow, you jerk, you just poked me. There's pretty much not anywhere that I could stab you with a pin that you're not going to fill it. And that is because you have nerves throughout your entire body. The purpose of the nervous system is to make you cry when you stub your toe and to send messages to your body. Like uh, when you want your toes to wiggle, like mine are doing right now under this desk, uh, as I talk about it. Uh, you send a message from your brain to your toes, and then they obediently start wiggling. So the nervous system is uh, controlling the rest of your body. And so in your brain, where which is an organ, your brain is an organ, you think, move, and then your toes move. Uh, or you think words, and then you barf the words out of your mouth. Um, another organ system would be the circulatory system. Talked about that a minute ago. It's a very important organ system. It is comprised of your heart. And some scientists would include the lungs. Some would not include the lungs. Uh, it also is made up of your veins and your arteries and your capillaries and all the parts of your uh, circulatory system that move blood around. Okay, and the blood, for that matter, as well. So your circulatory system's job, it's like the highway of the body. It is delivering things, literally physical things, molecules, oxygen, and food to your body. But it's also taking away waste from the cells of your body because your cells being living things all living things produce waste and cells are alive and the individual cells in your body are little tiny living creatures and they produce waste and that waste is in the form of urea a molecule called urea which is an also known as pee it's known as urine and that pee is in your blood hooray so if you like lick your arm when you bleed, because you're like, I like the taste of blood. You're licking pee, just so you know. Um, anyway, and that goes through your, that's carried away from the cells right next to the food. Isn't that cool? Your body carries its food and its waste in the same system. It's like if you were having hot dogs delivered in the sewer. But that's the way your body does it. Um some scientists combine the circulatory system with the respiratory system, and they might call it something like the circulatory slash respiratory system, uh, or respiratory circulatory circular. No, that doesn't say. Anyway, 
Uh, the respiratory system is made up of your lungs. Some would say your heart uh, and your uh, other, uh, your veins and arteries and stuff. So your respiratory system is what we use to breathe. Respirate, respire, respirinate, breathe. We use our respiratory system to get oxygen throughout the body. And again, many scientists combine that with the respiratory system. Another system is the digestive system. Talked about that a minute ago. Digestive system is made up of your mouth and your tummy and your uh, intestines, your large and small intestines, and your uh, your booty, where they're, yeah. Anyway, um, and you eat food, and it goes into your stomach, and it is digested. Well, you, it starts in your mouth, and you chew it up and break it down. And then it goes into your, your stomach, and it's broken down further by acids. And then it goes it, from there. It continues on its journey through your small intestines and then your large intestines. And then it comes out your booty, and it goes on its way into the potty. And it is no longer food. It is something far less appealing. It started out as a cupcake, and you turned it into something that is not a cupcake. Uh, and then your excretory system, since we're talking about waste, let's talk about the excretory system, which is, so remember, I said that your cells produce waste in the form of urea, also known as urine. And that urea builds up in your blood, and your blood gets fuller and fuller and fuller of urea. And if you don't get the urea out of your blood, eventually, in a few days, you're going to have so much urea in your blood that it's going to poison you and your skin is going to turn yellow and you're going to get sick. So you need a way to get the urea out of your blood. And you have these uh, this organ called kidneys, these organs, because there are two of them, called kidneys. And kidneys, their job is to get the urea out of your blood and they store it in your bladder. And then it goes out of you into the potty as well. And we call it pee. Uh, that is the excretory system. Its job is to remove waste uh, and the, the cell's waste. So your waste is what we would call feces if we want to be scientific. But you could also call it poop. Uh, that's the waste your body makes because you are a living thing. The waste of your cells, which are also living things, is urea or pee. And it uh, they go potty in your blood and then it collects in your blood the giant sewer of your body until it is cleaned out by the uh, kidneys in the loops of Henley. But we're not going to get into that much detail. I just like like saying loops of Henley, and which is in the kidneys. It's how the kidneys clean it. That's what the kidneys use, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Uh, and then it goes into the bladder and that is the excretory system. What systems have I not mentioned? Oh, there's... Uh, the skeletal system made up of bones. It is why I am not a jellyfish right now, like a lump of uh, uh, gloppy Mr. Bertoshness on the floor in a puddle because I have a skeletal system. And that, like the one behind me, hey, look at that. Uh, and that is what holds me up and a lot gives me form and shape and structure and, and uh, allows me to move around like a big animal of uh, not gloppiness. Um, then there's the muscular system. The muscular system is made of muscles. And there are many, many muscles in your body, just like there are many bones in your body. And they do everything from move your eyebrows, though I don't do it well. My daughter can make a wave with her eyebrows. It's really cool. I can't. I'm sadly not capable of making awesome waves with my eyebrows. I can only do this. And that is the muscles that is doing that. Many scientists combine the muscular system and the skeletal system and say, hey, those are not separate. That is one system. And others say, Psh, you're crazy. You're a crazy person. Those are two different systems, obviously. Obviously. Because some animals don't have a skeletal system, but they do have a muscular system. So it's up to you. You decide what you want to believe about such things. Um so there are other organ systems in the human body that are play a more minor role in uh, different functions like the lymphatic system and the endocrine system. 
but we're not really going to talk about them. They have to do with hormones and other things, and they're they're much smaller. They're important. I mean, without them, you'd have major issues. But uh, that's not. They're beyond what I want to talk about in middle school. That they're more geared towards a human biology class. So we've talked about the major organ systems, the ones that really are uh, significant and that I want you to learn in middle school. And the other thing I want you to pay attention to and uh, remember and understand and visualize because visualizing in science is really, really important. That means to imagine how this is happening. Remember, you are a civilization of cells. You are a ginormous, you're made up of about 100 trillion cells. And each one of them is a little tiny living creature at, that have their own lives and have their need, they're, because they're living, they have needs like to get food and to get rid of waste and to run away from angry bears that are about to eat you. Um, because if the bears eat you, that would be like the bear eating their city and they would get eaten too. It'd be like war. Uh, so one organism, one city of cells eating another city of cells. So you need to, they need to, in order for them to survive, they need you to survive in order for them to get their needs fulfilled. They are depending on you. You are their overlord. You are the emperor of your civilization or empress of your civilization of cells. And as the dictator, uh, it is your responsibility to take care of them all. And your organ systems are how you do it. You, you eat food and that provides food to all your children of cells. Your cell children, your, uh, your subjects, I don't know. But you, it's your organ systems that are working together to keep all of the cells alive. The purpose of your organ cell, or your organ is, I'll say it right eventually. The purpose of your organ systems and your organs is to keep the cells alive to uh, because they have specialized uh, they have jobs that they do, unique jobs. So the digestive system talked about how it takes food and breaks it down and then puts it into the blood, the circulatory system, which can then carry it out to the rest of the body and carry waste away from the cells. All of these organ systems, ultimately, their real purpose is to keep you, keep the, well, keep you alive, but to keep the cells alive. The cells have combined to help each other. They work together because they are a civilization. And in a civilization, we work together to keep the civilization running. And that's what they're doing. They're working together, doing different jobs, different really important jobs that you need so that you don't burst into flames, which never happens. Uh, the spontaneous combustion, that's not going to happen. You're not going to burst into flames. But you will, like, shrivel up, and uh, if you don't get enough food, uh, or if somebody pours water on you, you will melt. Oh, no, wait, that's a witch. Um, no, but you do need to eat, or you will eventually die. Uh, you do need each job to be done, or your body will get sickly, and it will not work as well. It will not function as well. And you will struggle and you may eventually die without your organs and organ systems doing their jobs. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching my video. These rambling science videos where I go unscripted and just kind of barf up all the science knowledge out of my head are part of a series that go along with an online class that I teach, which you can sign up for if you go to handsomescienceteacher.com. I also have a whole bunch of free resources for homeschoolers. I have uh, hundreds of articles on every topic that uh, covers your entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade. I have online games and quizzes all curated and written by uh, this handsome guy, uh, a science teacher with, well, three. Three degrees, but two of them are in science. So it's uh, targeted right to and directly to your, uh, your science student. So sign up.
subscribe to the channel and I release lots of videos also in addition to these ones lots of little uh, short videos that are like two minutes long that cover science topics those ones you don't get to see my handsome face but they're still good videos and they're much more targeted and those ones are scripted so you don't have to hear me like you are right now going blah 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 the end uh, subscribe thank you goodbye